while meeting leaders from Nakaseke district at the office of the Prime Minister in Kampala, Nabanja says that the report complied by the monitoring unit at her office has unearthed a lot of issues that lead to people castigating the government on service delivery. <laughs> Nabanja says that Nakaseke district has turned jobs into lucrative business and are selling them at 10 million shillings, which has led to marginalization of the people of Nakaseke because they cannot raise the required money to get jobs. They are corrupt and we shall not accept you to use our positions to discredit government. No. Impossible. No. And this must stop. Mr. Chairman, LOC, LOC 5, your people are corrupt and you are doing nothing about this. Maybe he knows. He might be an accomplice. Members of parliament, we are telling you we are tired of these uh, corrupt officials to use our space to use the positions they are given. They are getting people from elsewhere, and the people of Nakasa are not benefiting from the disease. The health minister, Dr. Jen Ruth Achenk, says that the current absenteeism of health workers is due to the dual employment that gives room for health workers to abandon government work and concentrate in their private-owned clinics. Doctors or health workers are not there because they are in their private clinics. The patients they see, they tell them to follow them to their private clinics. They make money there at the cost of government. The permanent secretary in the Ministry of Health, Dr. Diana Atwine, says that some health workers have become complacent because they are permanent and pensionable. Atwine says that government must introduce contracts for all workers if service delivery is to be streamlined. We will not come from Butalango every day to supervise who has worked in the facility, but yet we know that we have the resident subcounty chiefs that are there. If someone has contract and you don't perform and, and clearly there is a documented evidence that you don't work, you leave. The State Minister for Public Service, Mary Grace Mugasa, says that government will introduce service delivery standards and whoever falls short shall even lose out on gratuity. If you claim you are permanent and pensionable and you begin relaxing, even you are not going to get that pension or gratuity if you don't perform beyond 50%. In the road sector, the Minister for Works and Transport, Jeno Katumba Wamala, says that government has been releasing funds quarterly to the district to maintain roads. Chapter 4 was the worst, where they received 81,371 million. Alan Kajina, the Executive Director, Uganda National Roads Authority, says that government plans to upgrade several roads in Luwera sub-region and plans are underway. We anticipate that we shall also have civil works on the ground before the end of the financial year. Meanwhile, the head of state house and corruption unit, Brigadier General Henry Isoke, says that they have already instituted investigation into service delivery in Nakaseke district. And our, our approach will be targeting the leaders because we think these things, it is either negligence or they are benefiting from it. The meeting was conveyed by the Prime Minister to resolve service delivery gaps in Nakaseke district. Lydia Chomkama, UBC News.